Hello everybody and welcome, this is Roland Hartman from Graphic in Motion and in this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my Bounce 3D logo opener template. So before we get started I just want to sh uh, tell you a little bit about this template. If you take a look uh, then you probably already realized that this was not entirely created inside After Effects because simply these 3D shapes and the motion that uh, we see here is not yet possible only with After Effects. So it was created in a 3D application and is pre-rendered. And please be aware that you cannot really change these elements outside here. So you can change the content of the circle in the middle, like the title and of course like uh, the logo. And you can change all the colors, but you have no influence on really what is happening here because these are just pre-rendered elements. So to get started with the customization, we want to change this first title scene here. So therefore we just move to our title composition. You can also find it up here in our project window. And you see that we have three simple uh, text elements here and we have a shape layer. And this shape layer is only a guide layer that helps you position your title correctly. So let's just change some titles here. Just to show you, you can of course also change the font. I use the font Impact. It's a free font from the internet. You can find the download inside the links folder in your project folder that you downloaded. But you can of course also use any font you want. So I will stay with the Impact font and in my example I want to make an opener for Envato. So I will just type in here like uh, Marketplace and I will just, let me see, like this. And I want to change the size so that's a little bit smaller, like 75. And I want to position it using the align tools, just like that. I will leave this number one. Let's say it's the number one marketplace. And then we can put in something like um, for creatives or whatever. Number one marketplace for creatives. Okay. Now let's move on to our render composition and check the result. Now you see we have our title updated here. So now let's uh, put our cursor to around five seconds and we see that we have a placeholder in here. So we want to exchange this with a logo. Therefore, I just go to file and import files and I will just choose the Envato logo. So let's drop that inside. Oh yeah, I have of course to move to my logo composition before doing that. And now I can drop it inside the composition. And I just want to scale it down so that it fits inside our circle. Like so. And now I just will disable or make this invisible. And if I go back to my render comp, now you see, okay, now the Envato logo is visible and our circle and the subtitle. So let's just update the subtitle by just selecting this text layer here, the green one. And let's type in like envato.com and reposition it a bit let's say like this and let's go to our render comp and say yeah this is the look that we are after so now i want to change the colors and therefore i move to the render composition and i select my color setup and you see that we have a few color switches here and we have a background on off checkbox i will show you this in a minute but we start with the color customizations so first of all, I want to go back to my scene number one or scene number two where I can see my title uh, just to make sure uh, which color I'm changing. So you see the yellow color are these elements around here. Then the blue color is controlling the look of this, this circle in the middle and these elements right here. And then we have the pink color which just uh, controls a few lines here. So let's say we want to take over some colors of our logo. So now let's go to a frame where we can see our logo and zoom in a little bit. And I just take, um, as a main color, I will take the, the color from the logo. And as a second color, I maybe just take this gray here. And as a third color, this red here. And now you see what we have got. 
and we have got a created a new look okay now there is one more option or three more options i should say and you have a background color and you have this background on off so if you take a look at frame number or scene number one i should say so before one second you see that here we have a background and you can of course change the color of this and i just want to change the first color so the background um, let's make it a little bit bigger so that you can actually see it the background ramp start color i'll just change that to maybe something like uh, in my case green just because the logo is kind of green and you know to match this a little bit so let's say like this and this one we will also change to a little bit of a green color okay so now i changed the background color and if you go to the end of this animation you see that the background is also visible here but you have a possibility or you have the the option i should say to get rid of this background and you just have to check this checkbox. So turn off the background and you see now it's gone. And if you turn on your transparency grid, you see that now actually we have a transparent background. We do not have this in the beginning, so it does not affect scene number one. The background will be visible here, whatever you do. But in the end, when our logo drops through this tube here, then you have this transparency. And this can help you reveal your footage. So as you saw in my, in my, on the beginning of this tutorial, I also used this effect to just reveal something. So if you want to render this out with a transparent background, then yeah, all you have to do is you go to your render composition after, of course, the customization is finished and you go to composition and add to render queue. You cannot see it because it's outside of the recording area, but it's add to render queue. And now you have a few possibilities to render videos with transparent background. And one of the, one of the formats that I, I use for these kind of things is a QuickTime. So you just use format QuickTime. And if you didn't see, I just clicked here on output module lossless. So format QuickTime. And then we have to change something in the format options. You have to uh, select the PNG codec here. This is important, PNG. And now you can change your channels to RGB plus alpha. So if you export the video with these settings, then you can put it or import it into your editing software or also, of course, just in After Effects, just drop it on top of your footage and then your footage will be revealed. So I will just delete this for now and go back to Miranda Comp. Okay, this is it. You see it's a very easy and fast customization and it's also a very fast render because as I said, all the elements are already uh, pre-rendered. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you like the template. I hope that you can create some cool intros with it. Have fun and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.